My concern is that this road is going to be a catalyst for residential and some economic, but primarily residential growth in Porter County. We're watching what's happening right now in Lake County as places like Dyer, St. John, Cedar Lake have boomed as more people are moving in from places like Illinois and elsewhere into Northwest Indiana. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. It's just to say that as we're watching places like Winfield, Crown Point explode with their population, I wanna make sure we're taking into account my, the fact that this road, while it might alleviate the traffic problem as traffic is currently set up, I believe this is gonna just cause so much expansion of population into Union Township. For the first leg in this journey, and I have concerns of what kind of traffic is going to be coming through Portage. That is our main bus business district. It's, um, we spent four and a half million dollars paving that road, not paving it to have heavy traffic on it. So I'd like to know what your plan is for the traffic and what impact that's going to have to our city because it is going to impact us. You know, we've established a good partnership with the county, I think in the past, it always hasn't been great. And we worked hard to now, as an administration, work with the county. We, I sit on the NERPC board. I'm the secretary for NERPC, but I feel that we have been left out of a process. And we are a, the largest city in the county, of nearly 40,000 people, and yet we have not been invited. My administration has not been invited to the table on this. Way late for 40 year resident of downtown Wheeler, I'll call it, to find out about a, a road that's going to come right through the town. I mean, you could say it's on the edge of town. No, it's right through our town. But now I'm not surprised when the mayor of Portage gets up here and says she didn't know about it. Like, how do you build a road and the main thoroughfare through Portage feeds into and out of that road? and the leadership of Portage didn't know about it. So it's, it, it, if there was no consideration for the Portage community in the 20s, thousands, or how, however many people, I'm not surprised that consideration for my family and the families in Wheeler were not taken into account. I think, it, you know, I'll speak for myself as a president of the Board of Commissioners and say, that, first of all, that is that will not be a federal road. That will be a county road with a 45 mile an hour speed limit on it. Now there are there are things is, which was touched on earlier this evening that we must do to it because we're receiving federal funds to build it. But we see it as a, a county road, a two lane county road. And uh, as far as you know, where it connects up to 700 North and across 700 North, that's part of our jurisdictional authority to dictate anything. Um, I don't have, and I'm not aware of, any plans to develop anything along there. And you all have to remember, for that to happen, regardless of what's zoned there, the property owners would have to sell their property to make that uh, make that possible. It, it, it breaks my heart to see it happen, but we have to move traffic. And if it weren't here, where? What, res what residents are, I mean, if I, I sort of uh, asked for a show of hands, who's in favor of this? Probably not a single hand. I can think of probably three dozen projects that the County Board of Commissioners have sitting in front of them right now that we would much rather be spending the money on and spending our time on than this one. Because it does, it breaks our heart to, 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 to cut through farmlands, especially those that are, you know, centennial farms. And, but we're, I want you to all to understand something. This project is long. It's, it's a far, it's, it's far away from being approved. It is, it, this is not a done deal. What we're doing now is, is table setting to find out what is indeed the best route. This is all about moving traffic. It's not about development, not at all. Now, and, and, and I'll be the first one to admit, the ball has been dropped here over the last two or year or two. That's why this board is, is trying to make up for that. That's why you all have been asked to be here. And I'm gonna ask our board, the County Board of Commissioners, along with the uh, Structure Point and the Plan Commission, to take another hard look at 149. And I wanna know, 
if there's a case that can be made to that can be put in that it's it's just really just a matter of dollars then i want to hear that if there's a case that that can be made why it can't go on i want you to hear that you deserve that and we and, and i will and i will promise you that will happen trust me when i tell you we don't like doing this we wish we i could we wish we could could snap our fingers and the problem would be fixed but you've been you've given us the responsibility to make tough decisions we must move the traffic we could we could very easily announce today the three of us commissioner blaney commissioner regnitz and myself you know what folks we're not going to do this we're going to leave it up to the next batch of commissioners to worry about it. but that 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 wouldn't be right i don't know where all this is going to end up but i can tell you as long as we're plugged into it the three of us we are going to make sure that it is it, it, the least bit a true uh, intrusive as possible that that is that possible i don't know yet if i lived out there I, I'll, I'll, I'll freely admit i wouldn't want the road in i wouldn't want to look out my kitchen and see it. But if we do our jobs right, if this goes in, it, it's not going to be as bad as you think. It's, it's not going to be great. I'll give you that. But you're going to be your voices are going to be heard along the along the way if this thing is going to go through. That we're going to do whatever it takes to make to make it at least a bit of a truce of as it possibly humanly possibly can. That I will promise you.